why don't we just do one more where maybe you really like sell how, how you're feeling. Yeah, okay, let's do it. All right, take four. What up, Pricklicks? It's me, Dr. Moron. I'm a ding-dong doodle-bug dipshit with a tip mouse dick and my dad hates all of you. Fucky go bye-bye. How was that? Was that good? Ah, profanity. I love it. Well, actually, no. Scratch all that. The obvious choice of words here should be, I fucking love it. Fuck. 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 Fuck you, asshole. I don't know, there's just something about stringing several swear words together in a sentence that's just so satisfying. It just really tickles my brain. And I really think what makes cursing so appealing to so many people is that curse words can be used in so many different ways. So like, take fuck for example. You can use it as a cathartic response to pain. You can use it to voice your opinion on season 8 of Game of Thrones. Fucking thing sucks! You can use it as a cry for attention or to casualize conversation. But most importantly, you can use it to... First, take a big step back and literally FUCK YOUR OWN FACE! Make people feel bad. So honestly, profanity might be the best thing we've ever invented. I wouldn't be surprised if humankind's first words were Pass me that rock, buck stick. Or maybe Pass me that stick, fuck rock. I mean, this might be why we evolved. Maybe our Neanderthal ancestors developed higher level mental processes because Grug wanted to tell Ugg to fuck off and eat shit. Eat shit. Fuck you. Eat shit. Fuck eat shit. You. Fuck you. you. Definitely eat shit. Fuck you, I'm out. Now, as much as I love profanity, I do have to admit, I have a small problem. Or medium problem. Alright, fine. Maybe a big problem. I just can't stop swearing. I mean, here, just listen to a few outtakes that I've recorded. There's just something so satisfying when, uh, oh shit. There's just something so, fuck. Hmm. There's just something so satisfying when there's several, f uh, f shit. Fucking when there's several shitty, shitty titty cocks. Fuck. But these kinds of exchanges have me thinking. I've become more and more reliant on curse words in my everyday language. When I have a minor inconvenience, or when I'm trying to describe something, or even when I need a filler word, I'll just fall back on profanity. If swearing is a drug, then I guess that would make me the addict. If foul language was a chocolate cake, then I am Bruce Bogtrotter. And if comedy comes in threes, then I'm all out of ideas. So the question is, should I stop swearing? So I did what any of us would do in this situation. Look up answers on YouTube. And well, this is what I found. Hi, I'm Faye de Moishan. Steve G. Jones. Craig Valentine, author of The Perfect Day Formula. Here with you to talk about how to stop cursing. To help you stop swearing. To help you stop using profanity, especially around children. If you haven't realized, most of the videos online seem to focus on how to stop swearing, not why we should stop swearing. And to be honest, some of the how is kind of questionable. You relax more and more deeply eight, um, walking down that what the path, fuck is this? relaxing, unwinding, letting go. Did I, Seven, six, did I click down, into a jerk off instructional? Down the path and down relaxation, five. Okay, right. So very, very What's relaxed. next idea? Another idea is to tape yourself. God damn it. First a jerk off instructional, now a bondage video. Set up a camera and tape yourself talking about something that oh, you feel that really kind of passionately tape. against. Because example, wherever she's from, topic, cameras still use tape. Alright, what's the last idea? Now, I know from experience because I used to curse like a, a sailor. Whoa, did you catch that? 
to curse like a, a sailor. To curse like a, a sailor. I was really, really bad. I was really, really bad. So, most of these videos don't go into the why we should stop swearing, and of the ones that do, their argument can be broadly summarized as people who choose to rattle off expletives are brutish and uneducated. Now, sociologists actually have an entire theory dedicated to this line of thought called the poverty of vocabulary hypothesis, which can be in short summed up as when words fail us, we curse. So what's the implication of this? That word implication a couple of times. What implication? The implication being that words would only fail us if we had limited vocabulary, i.e. stupid, or we just won't bother to use adjectives when constructing sentences, i.e. lazy. So, if you swear like a schoolgirl, a sailor, you're stupid and lazy. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. That ain't right. That ain't right. So what? I got a potty mouth. But that don't mean I can't talk good. Well, I have good news. Science is on our side. Meet Timothy and Kristen Jay, professors of psychology, respectively at Marist College and MCLA. Tim and Kristen gathered 43 individuals and tested their verbal fluency through a co-op test. That's Controlled Word Association Test. The general idea is that participants would start with a letter and say as many words as possible within a time frame. At the end, they're given a fluency score based on the number of words generated. Then, they'll do the same thing, but for swear words, effectively measuring a taboo word fluency. What they found was that verbal fluency and taboo fluency were in fact positively correlated. In other words, rattling off profanity like a little schoolgirl It's like a, a sailor doesn't mean you're stupid and lazy. In fact, it actually might mean you're creative and competent enough to understand the nuances in a well-placed shit. Or cock. Or shit cock. Side note, here's my favorite thing about this study. 60% of taboo fluency data was represented by these 10 commonly used swear words. But the other reported words included cum dumpster, cock ass, ass pirate, and chuckle fuck. <laughs> Can I just say, kudos to those folks that actually came up with these words while partaking in a scientific study. I want to be friends with you. Did we just become best friends? Yup! So, should you stop swearing? Well, the short answer is, probably not. But, if you're like me and you find yourself using just a few profane words as a crutch, then maybe we should make an effort to expand our lexicon. After all, language is a beautiful thing and having a rich vocabulary can actually help you communicate in a more engaging way. And who knows, maybe becoming less reliant on catch-all words can actually remove misunderstandings and help us improve our relationships with one another. Nah, fuck that. Shit! Ass! Piss in the ass! You're a little cunt. 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 Dumb. Cunt. Dick skin. Fuck me! You poop out! You poop out of your mouth! Get the fuck out! Fuck you, mom. Oh, fuck you, kid. Jackass. So for the final father fucking time, fuck your own face!